Okay, to use MATLAB in order to solve your problem, I'm going to open a MATLAB window. I'm going to set a coefficient matrix A, by the way, is a solution to 1.1, 1 .1, number 33 and 34. I've already set up the system of equations, which I'll post for you. So I'm going to type A equals, then I'm going to have an open bracket, square bracket. I'm going to put in the first row, which is 4, minus 1, 0, minus 1, and then I'm going to put in the right-hand side. Actually, I won't put in right-hand side here. Um, I'm going to put a semicolon just to let MATLAB know I want a new row. And I have minus 1, 4, minus 1, 0, another semicolon. I'm going to have 0, minus 1, 4, minus 1, semicolon. In case I'm ready to do the fourth row minus 1, space 0, minus 1, and 4, and then I'm going to close that, hit return. Now MATLAB has saved my matrix as matrix A, and I can refer to that as A later on at the command line. For example, I type A, hit return, it gives me that back. Notice that I put a space in between each of the entries on the row. Now I need to set up the right-hand side, or what we'll call B. So B is equal to, again, I'm going to put square bracket, and then the right-hand side is um, only one entry on a row. So I have 30, semicolon, 60, semicolon, 70, semicolon, 40. Then close the bracket, hit return. Now I want to solve for the temperatures at the interior nodes. And so I need to solve my system of equations, which in this case would be T is equal to um, A, and then notice the backslash in B. This is MATLAB's way of knowing to solve um, a system of equations that looks like A times T equals B. Hit return. And then it gives me back the values of T. So in this case, T1 is 20, T2 is 27.5, T3 is 30, and T4 is 22.5.